In this video, we're going to look at a worked example of a titration calculation involving a diprotic acid. And you have to be a bit more careful when you have diprotic acids. So let's look at the difference between a monoprotic and a diprotic acid. So a monoprotic acid could be something like HCl, your hydrochloric acid. And when this ionizes, you're going to get one H plus, and of course, Cl minus is the other one. The key is that you're only getting one H plus from each molecule. In a diprotic acid, like sulfuric acid, you're going to get 2H plus, and then you're going to get your SO4 2 negative. It's important to remember that the SO4 complex ion is a charge of 2 minus. That's going to be useful later. So you can see the difference is that the diprotic acid is giving you double the number of H plus particles. And so your hydrogen ion is what determines the pH of an acid. And so you're going to have to take that into account. And so we've got a question here for our work example. We've got 40 centimeters cubed of 0 0.02 moles per dm cubed of sodium hydroxide, so that's our alkali, is exactly neutralized by 30 centimeters cubed of sulfuric acid. What is the concentration of the acid? So we know everything you need to know about the sodium hydroxide, but we only know the volume of the sulfuric acid. So our first step is we need to get a balanced equation. And this is one of the places where it's important to take note of the fact that you've got this H2. This is partially going to take care of the diprotic nature. So we obviously don't have a balanced equation here. So we need to do some things to balance it. So for example, sodiums are not balanced. So we need a 2. So we've now got sodium balanced. But by doing that, we've added hydrogen here, so unbalanced it as well. And so we need a two here to end up with a fully correctly balanced equation. So we've now got a balanced equation. The second step is to find the moles of sodium hydroxide. So as I say, we've got everything we need to know about sodium hydroxide. We've got the volume and we've got the concentration. Remember, the volume has to be in the same units as your concentration. So we've got cm cubed here, so you're going to have to do a conversion. The formula to find the number of moles is the classic one. You've got n equals cv. n is the number of moles, c is the concentration, and v is the volume. So you're simply going to do your concentration times your volume. I'm dividing by 40 to do the conversion. And we end up with 8 times 10 to the minus 4 moles of our sodium hydroxide. And we know that's exactly neutralized by 30 centimeters cubed of sulfuric acid. So the next step is to work out how many moles of acid we must have. And this is the important bit to deal with the diprotic nature. We've got a one to two ratio. So if we have this many moles of our sodium hydroxide, we're gonna to have to half that in order to get the number of moles of our acid, because we've got two reacting with one. And so this is how many moles we actually have here. So we've now got our moles of the acid. We use N equals CV, rearrange that for concentration, substitute in what we know. And obviously this number has to be divided by a thousand to get it into dm cubed. So we can find the concentration from this and we get our final answer by simply evaluating that. So you've now run through a worked example of how you can calculate the concentration of an acid that is diprotic in a titration. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.